And this is just for some people. I know that not everybody, you know, some people have it together and they got great upbringing and they were lucky enough to get good models in their life of how to take care of yourself. But, you know, some of us didn't have amazing upbringings and, and didn't weren't taught certain things. And so that's why I'm doing this now is to say, you get to choose now, starting now, what you intake, what kind of channels you're watching. There are so many YouTube channels about manifestation and motivation and realizing like, you know, what Tony Robbins says, the five people you spend time around are the people you will become because proximity is power. So really cleaning that up. And if there's negative people around you spewing negativity, really take a step back and go, is this helping me? Is this opening me up or is it closing me off? Is it, is it making me expansive or is it shrinking me? Do I feel big or small? And who's speaking now? Is it my ego or is it love? Is it trust or is it fear? Is it love or is it fear? We're either functioning for love and fear. It's one or the other. Forgiveness is a vibration of love. You know, you don't need to condone someone for what they did. This is what the thing I talked about last time because people were like, how do I forgive? Because I went through something that was pretty horrific, right? I could have closed my heart to the world and definitely to men after what I went through, but I made a conscious decision to not take it personally that a person behaved that way. Anyway, I, this is in my book. This is in my audio book that's coming out as well. It's definitely on the podcast, Serious But Funny. But I made a conscious choice to, instead of avoiding the pain that it brought up, because it brought up a lot of pain, my heartbreak, I decided to cry a ton, to feel my feelings, to journal, to talk about it with friends, to eventually write about it in a book. You know, I waited a year before I even like started writing about it and um, to keep my heart open, which is difficult, you know, because it's like, well, I never want to feel that pain again. And the sure thing to do is to just avoid dating or being in a relationship altogether because look, relationships don't work. You know, my viewpoint for a while was marriage marriage certainly doesn't guarantee anything it was a fearful point of view rather than an abundant of going well that was that I can have a beautiful you know I'm still working on like I can have a beautiful marriage if and when I decide I can and I can't project one man's behavior onto all men that's generalizing and that's actually the danger and that's keeping me from connecting with other men not all men are sucky not all women are sucky some are in pain, some aren't. Some are ready, some are not. Some communicate their truth, some don't. Right? We don't want to generalize people.